Welcome back. Well, we all know Nebraska is full of hardworking mechanics keeping engines running smoothly. That is for sure. Sometimes you can't find one when you need exactly. them. Exactly. But our good life guy, he found one. Brian Gnuzzi joins us now to introduce us to a mechanic who doesn't let his limitations keep him from working. So true. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, definitely one of those inspiring stories. Very mm -hmm. much. Uh, I was talking to Ted on the phone. I'm like, really? You do all that with with what limitations yep. you have it, it, it's pretty amazing but yeah. ted works on all sorts of outdoor power equipment at his shop the challenging part is he has to do it all from on or beside his wheelchair he was born with cerebral palsy he has multiple surgeries throughout his life to help with this condition but in this segment of all in today's work we head to burwell nebraska to ted's small engine repair shop i essentially grew up around my dad, as a mechanic in here, he'd fix cars and I'd come up here after school every day. I mean, every day. Ted said his desire to work and make money on small engine repairs all started when he was a kid. He was in his dad's shop working on one of their family mowers when a customer saw him. Dad's back here working on a car and he asked Dad, do you think Ted can handle working on chainsaws? He said, yeah, bring it in, we'll try it, see what happens. As he said, I was auto mechanic for years, and he grew up in here with me. He didn't know anything else. And I decided to try a different job, so I got maintenance. And when I walked out of here, it hurt Ted worse than it hurt me. Because he's kind of like, what am I going to do? But I was really depressed and down on myself because I had nothing to get up for, nothing to get out and do. It took a few more years before Ted decided to take the leap and open his own shop in downtown Burwell. Nobody in the community was doing this, and I saw a need in it, so I started doing it. These days, there is no shortage of things to do. I do anything from push lawnmowers to snow blowers to generators to riding lawnmowers to all outdoor power equipment. <laughs> you look at him and you think, well, he's a little handicapped. He isn't really that handicapped because he works hard. I, I thought he had limitations. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he's got too many other than he can't, he can't win, beat me in a foot race, probably. He don't feel sorry for himself, and he's an inspiration. He not only is an example in this town, but he's an example to everyone he meets. Ted uses scissor lift tables to get the equipment to a level he can work on them. Family friend Ken Locker helped modify the tables to add a lift to the top of them. These tools and others help him work around the limitations of cerebral palsy. It essentially uh, takes your balance away from you. You can obviously see that I'm a wheelchair behind me at all times. I can stand up. But if I don't have anything something, something behind me and I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down. So I got to have a chair behind me so I can, I can sit down periodically and then get back up and go back to work. Everything he does, he has to, unlike you or I, we just go and we start doing it. He has to plan every move, and he has to make sure it's right before he moves in. Ted's dad recently retired, so he has a bit more time to assist with the few things Ted can't do. Like pulse starting a generator or driving riding lawnmowers onto the lift. Two lifts, it's almost crazy what this has turned into. He isn't a quitter. And he's proven that to people in the community, and he just, everybody's behind him. On top of that, he's just a nice guy, and he's pretty good at what he does. See you guys later. Glad you got to see me. Yep. When they used to work together, Ted's dad was in charge. But these days, Ted calls the shots. Yeah, he's the boss. I'm the assistant. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty proud. Pretty proud. Yep. Brian Ganuzzi, NTV's Good Life, Burwell. If you're interested in utilizing Ted's skills, his location is on screen, or just head to the web story later at Nebraska.tv. And we are lucky enough next to have Ted joining us for some additional questions, because of course, you know, you have more questions when, yeah. when you see Ted at hard at at work and, and yep. see the things he's overcome to uh, yeah. just, just be quite an inspiration to the town and uh, anybody he meets from what yeah. the friends are saying. So. And I think you're going to keep him doubly busy now that yeah. we had showed his work and his talents. Plus, you're going to be talking with him next. So yeah, well, he yeah. he is well known in his area. Yes. So uh, people people are people hunting him down. Now there might be another range of folks. To, I'm sure to there is. 
Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back with Ted Lee uh, in MTV's Good Life.